I got laid over in France on a trip and unexpectedly and found myself alone in a church in France. And I just walked in and started praying and just, I said, I'm so tired of the whole dating thing. I can't do this anymore. This is so painful. I've been looking, I was 38 at the time and really wanted a relationship. And I just said, I surrender. I give it up. I'm just over it. You know, if you want to bring me a man, wonderful, but I can't do this anymore. I was five years old and I was playing with my dolls and a voice came to me and it said, you're going to be with a man named Michael Winters. It was kind of this very strong feeling. Anyway, when I was probably 30, I went to Sedona, Arizona, and the voice came back. And it said, his name isn't Michael Winters, his name is Michael Snow. So I was always looking for a guy named Michael Snow, and uh, I would date a guy named Michael and I would ask what his last name meant because sometimes I thought, well, maybe it's in another language. For years, I always painted the same man on there. And I don't know, I was painting way after I'd met him and I realized that I was painting him. They look exactly like him. I don't change my imagery now because I was painting him. He was tall, he had broad shoulders and thin. His facial structure was sort of the same. So I, I really felt him earlier, and I think I felt him at five. And that's, I think, why it was so painful not to have him in my life, because I felt that on such a deep level, and it wasn't matching up with the reality of what was happening. I had to wait. We had to be ripe, I guess. Y'all 